Good morning, Father James Misko coming back at you with Coffee with the Callers on this Friday morning. And I'm here as always with Father Doug Jeffers. And we're glad to have with us a guest on Coffee with the Callers today. Teresa Seal is with us. Good morning, Teresa. Hi, Good morning. thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Welcome, Welcome to Coffee with the Welcome. Callers. Uh, Teresa is uh, in the movie business, and she is currently working on a project called Eight Beats, uh, which is a very interesting project that is um, what I would say is kind of on the cutting edge of Catholic movie making. And that's why we've got Teresa here to talk a little bit about uh, what that project and what that sort of genre uh, is and maybe should be uh, so that we can spread the word of Jesus Christ uh, to the people of God. So, Teresa, tell us a little bit about your project. Eight Beats is the name of the film. Is that correct? Eight Beats is the name of the anthology. Okay. So, it's actually eight short films, and they are being produced all around the U.S. And each of these eight films is inspired by a different beatitude of the gospel. So, how long would a short film be? So, these films are going to be between 7 to 12 minutes, approximately, um, and... Uh, Team Texas, which is our team, um, is called 2 a.m. Lullaby. That's the name of our short film. And I'm producing that. We shoot in only two and a half weeks. Wow. So it's coming up. Uh, there's a lot to do. Um, and we're just really excited. So when you say it's an eight short film anthology, that means that these eight movie teams from all over the country, you're gonna, someone's going to put these together into one feature length. Uh, product. Yes. Is that right? Basically, we've got an organization called Catholic Creatives. It's a nonprofit organization that unites creative Catholics in various industries. And they came up with this idea to have eight different short films produced by tons of different teams, people who've never met each other from around the country. And then we come together for this anthology to present the Beatitudes in light of the modern gospel. Okay, very cool, outstanding. So as we have a real live movie maker here uh, <laughs> at the parish. Teresa goes to St. Louis. She works with uh, a lot of ministries here at the parish. So we're really excited and we feel like this is uh, one of our own who's uh, getting out there and really working hard to spread, uh, spread the good news of Jesus uh, from our Catholic perspectives. So Teresa, can you tell us a little bit about how um, how this project got started, how, why the Beatitudes, and, and how did it come around to that? Yeah, well, I'm, so I'm producing Team Texas's film, 2 a.m. Uh -huh. Lullaby. Um, <clears throat> the national team is headed up by Anthony D'Ambrosio and okay. Sam Sorich. Oh, I've, heard, I've heard of him. He's, <laughs> he's out there doing real good work. Yeah, yeah, Anthony's doing amazing stuff. He's based out of Dallas, um, and he's one of the founders of Catholic Creatives. Cool. Um, and he teamed up with Sam. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Sam came up with this idea, wanting to showcase filmmaking and Catholic filmmaking, but not in this over the top. I'm going to preach to you kind of way. Mm -hmm. Just recognizing that the gospel is about our humanity and our beauty as people, and whether we're Catholic or not Catholic, we are we are beautiful. And what do those stories look like? So I think if you didn't know that this project was inspired by the Beatitudes, you wouldn't know that it was even Catholic hmm. because it's just human stories. Yeah, that's great. So the goal here was to to bring the gospel to the people in the peripheries. Sure, sure. So as you mentioned, beauty there. Do you see that as part of the uh, the part of the mission of your filmmaking to kind of open up that um, vision of beauty? I absolutely do, mm -hmm. and I I think two a.m. lullaby wonderfully does that. It's a very ethereal film. Okay. It's about this this young singer, this young performer who's struggling with recognizing her own beauty and her own identity, um, both as a performer, um, but also as a third generation Mexican American. Mm -hmm. And then it's the way in which she is seen by her audience in this not not necessarily very welcoming and beautiful way mm -hmm. versus sure. how she's seen by this this night janitor who kind of sees her in a way that she's struggling to see herself. Wow, so this short film that you're making is based on the beatitude, blessed are the pure of heart, right? Yes, blessed are the pure of heart for they, they shall see God, 2 a.m. lullaby. So I think this is a really important project that you're doing because we need uh, media out there, whether it's in cinema or whether it's in social media channels, uh, that engages people who aren't uh, in the choir, as it were. I mean, we're always kind of preaching to the choir. Uh, and that's easy to do because, of course, everybody that is consuming the media agrees with the media. But it's really important that we get out, like Pope Francis says, to the peripheries 
people who never would talk about the Beatitudes might actually now be talking about the Beatitudes because of this Eight Beats project. So we're really happy for you and we're excited to have you as one of our very own. I know that our own Marie Nunez is working with this project as well. Yes. Uh, and so this is very exciting. So we have two people here at the parish that are actually engaging in this really important ministry of getting out to the, uh, to the fringes of society and bringing Christ out there. So I, I, I wanna talk about engagement and what it means not just to engage the audience, but also to engage people who want to participate in a modern Catholic filmmaking and, and television. And that is to return to what it means to be a patron of the arts. I do not make a lot of money and, and I struggle. And I think that's often forgotten um, what it means to, to be a patron of the arts and to find out where you can support people who are speaking to people through art and through beauty. So, uh, so how can people learn more about this project? So there is a website, 8beatsmovie.com. There is a trailer for the entire anthology. Uh, so that's a good opportunity to find out more about the full anthology and the team members. Um, and then if anyone wants to, to know or even participate in our film, 2 a.m. Lullaby, you can just email me, and my email will be in the description underneath. And we would, we would love to have more participation from the parish to really engage in Catholic filmmaking. Oh, that'd be great. I mean, yeah. that, I think there'd probably be, maybe there's some uh, flowering uh, cinema professionals uh, among our congregation who'd love to get involved in something yeah. like this. Or so. just people who are interested in it, you know? Like, we'd love to have more extras or... You know, people who just want to help out with food, like whatever. We want people to be engaged. Well, I mean, this is clearly part of uh, part of our evangelization charge is to get out there and preach the gospel. Sometimes we preach the gospel by the way we live. Sometimes we preach it by the things we say, and sometimes we preach it by the projects in which we engage, like this project here, Eight Beats. So, sounds great. Well, thank you for joining us, Teresa. And we'll be looking out for this Eight Beats when it when it comes out with uh, anticipation. And uh, we thank you all for joining us. We hope you have a good Friday, and we'll see you on Sunday.